Welcome back to MMA Surge. I'm The Squid. We just got done watching UFC 153 featuring Anderson Silva and Stefan Bonner in the main event. I'm gonna do a quick recap of the whole main card and what happened and all the highlights of the night. The first fight of the main card featured Damian Maya versus Rick Story. This was Damian Maya's debut in the 170 pound division. He was able to quickly take out Rick Story with a neck crank at two minutes and 30 seconds of the first round. The second fight of the main card featured Phil Davis versus Wagner Prado. Phil Davis looked amazing in this fight, probably the best we've ever seen him in the UFC. He was able to lock up an anaconda choke at four minutes and 29 seconds of round two. The third fight of the main card was probably the most exciting fight of the whole night was John Fitch versus Eric Silva. This was a huge matchup. John Fitch coming off of two losses versus Eric Silva, who was riding a lot of momentum. John Fitch was able to completely dominate Eric Silva with great wrestling, great jiu-jitsu, and actually some very good striking. He won a unanimous decision on all judges' scorecards. The fourth fight of the main card featured Fabio Maldonado versus Glover Teixeira. A lot of people think Glover Teixeira is the next big name in the 205 pound division. Fabio Maldonado did a great job of hanging in there and made a very valiant effort against a guy that most guys in the 205 pound division won't fight. A lot of guys actually turned down Glover Teixeira before this fight, and it was big for Fabio actually to step up. And even in the end of the first round, he almost knocked out Glover with a huge left hook. Glover was able to keep beating up Fabio until the doctor stopped the fight after the second round. The co-main event of the night featured Antonio Ruggiero Nogueira against Dave Herman in a heavyweight affair. Before the fight, Dave Herman was talking a lot of trash about Antonio and also about jiu-jitsu, saying jiu-jitsu doesn't even work. Dave Herman found out at four minutes and 31 seconds of the second round that jiu-jitsu does work as Antonio Ruggiero Nogueira armbarred him for the victory. The main event of the evening was Stefan Bonner versus Anderson Silva, the middleweight champion of the UFC. This was a pretty cool matchup seeing Anderson Silva come up to pretty much save a fight card that fell apart. Anderson Silva, the 185 pound champion, going to fight a guy much bigger, a guy that probably walked into the cage probably around 225, 230. When the fight started, Stefan Bonner closed the distance, clinched up Anderson, and was able to pretty much do what Chael Sonnen tried to do in his first two fights was cover the distance, smother Anderson, take him down and put a beating on him. Anderson Silva was able to show why he's a true champion when he was able to trip up Stefan Bonner, send him across the cage, and land one very well-placed knee strike to the solar plex of Stefan Bonner, ending the fight at four minutes and 40 seconds of the first round. Cementing Anderson Silva's legacy in the 205 pound division and showing why he is the most dominant fighter ever in the UFC. The Fight of the Night award went to John Fitch and Eric Silver for their back and forth match in the 170 pound division. The Submission of the Night bonus went to Antonio Rogero Nogueira as he tapped out Dave Herman. And the Knockout of the Night bonus went to Ronnie Jason. So that was our recap of UFC 153. Be sure to check out our analysis and fight breakdown videos of the main event featuring Anderson Silva and Stefan Bonner, as well as all of our other mixed martial art videos you'll find on our page. I'm The Squid, this is MMA Surge. Have a good night, guys.